all, Will Healy here. I uh, wanted to talk about basic dye protection today and just all the different pieces and parts that go into dye protection. Uh, a lot of manufacturers, metal stampers, um, don't have any sensors on their dies, and they're really risking uh, major crashes and damage to their tooling, downtime. And so uh, if, if you're one of those, uh, start thinking about how a simple inductive prox can really save you a lot of time and money. And uh, I mean, for things like slug out or scrap out, uh, making sure a cam is returned or part out or part ejection. A lot of people use an inductive prox for feed monitoring and is the feed in the right position, uh, making sure that maybe a blank is seated properly in the, in the tooling. Uh, also, you know, working uh, when we're protecting the dies, we have to look at how the straightener and the feeding system and, and the edge guides and the strip controls all working to get the strip and the piece of metal in the right place at the right time of our cycle so that we, we don't have any crashes or any buildup uh, in our machine. So uh, in a few weeks, I'm going to be giving a presentation on modernizing the press shop and specifically talking about press optimization. And one of the topics uh, we're going to spend a decent amount of time on is uh, progressive dye, dye protection. And so if you're doing uh, progressive stamping, or even if you're doing blanks and transfer stamping, uh, we're going to have sections of this Modernizing the Press Shop presentation uh, where we talk about that in detail and how a prox can really save a lot of money for people and save a lot of headache and a lot of downtime. So uh, check out the comments for a link to the Precision Metal Forming Association's presentation, uh, Modernizing the Press Shop, uh, that I'll be presenting. And uh, don't forget to hit follow next to my name at the top.